Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to your favorite show on the internet, Bro Duder. My name is Tyler. I'm joined here by my buddy, Andrew. What are we talking about today? Well, Tyler, we're talking about censorship and deplatforming. Coming up. Censor your ass. Right now. Hit it, Steven. Don't you ever talk over me again. You understand me? Especially on the intro. You understand me, bitch? <laughs> Answer me now. Oh, I missed the... Wow. I missed, I missed the hit. It ends <laughs> on an off note, doesn't it? Damn, yeah. damn. Uh, it does. How are you doing today, Mr. Sanchito? I'm doing well. <laughs> how are you two fellers? Fellers? I'm swell. We are joined today by uh, the legendary... The always formidable Juan Rosales. Hello, hello. Good to be back. <laughs> How you doing? Where's my round of applause? How, I don't come, sound guy, where's the round of applause? Where, where, where is it? Where is it? I got to find it. Uh, <laughs> Audio guy. <laughs> uh, Juan, how were the past two months without your beloved bro Oh, it's been great. I've been sleeping in and watching movies. Sleeping in and watching movies. Nice. Yep. You've you been awakening and you baking. Didn't, you didn't at least miss me. No, I missed the first episode because I was getting my sleep. <laughs> uh, that you did. Um, so last season, we ended with you preparing a nice little movie review for us. Do you remember that? Uh, a little bit. <laughs> Has the Good movie enough. in question been reviewed? Oh, yeah. I got a review. I mean... Kung Fu and Titties was what I was uh, supposed to be watching. And I did watch it, but I, I didn't finish it all. I just saw like, the first 10 minutes. Wait. <laughs> That's all it took, man. Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Now, did you only see the first 10 minutes because it was that bad? Uh, it was that bad, but it was also that good, you know? <laughs> Why didn't you finish it? Wait, That's hold on. That's all it took. That's all it took to finish. That's all you know? needed. When you said needed. when you said you didn't finish it, I figured okay, maybe the last 30, 20 minutes you didn't you didn't watch. No, listen but to you, his words you, carefully. You, you, you he all, said that's all it took to finish. You, exactly. Ah, uh, I got it. <laughs> ten minutes in, so uh, I just had to clean up. Two the pup mess. chub. Ten, fucking just. ten minutes into the movie, I do not think is good enough for a review. But within those ten minutes, did, did they at least set up the plot of the movie? I don't think there was a plot. I think it was more of just some guys that just wanted titties in their face all the time. <laughs> so every scene was just like a girl shaking boobs in the guy's face and them like being like, yeah, dude. Was it like full-blown bear tits or was it? Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Time. Yeah. Can you send well, me the link to that movie? <laughs> well, I mean, why did you only watch 10 minutes of that movie then? I don't understand. Because it, that's how long that, it took to yeah, finish. That's how long it took, man. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. It, I mean, it had Kung Fu and titties both in, within the first 10 minutes. It had a, a guy with his uh, red, you know, that red bandana you tie around your head? When you do kung fu, mm, yes, yes. So I had, what had all that. Kung, what all kung fu men wear when they do kung yeah. fu. Although in the first scene, it was uh, he was at a boxing ring, what which the? Has nothing to do with kung fu. But either way, it had the kung fu headband and there was titties. So they have they have uh, historical inaccuracies in that movie, then. Yeah, mm-hmm. or location inaccuracies. Well, they weren't. They were white dudes. They weren't Asian. So oh, another historical. No, I definitely inaccuracy. want to watch that movie yeah. even <laughs> more. <laughs> now that's what you call. Um, what do you call it when a like a white guy takes gets a black cast thing? as a Asian no no, guy. no a white guy gets a black uh, takes a black guy style what's I don't that, know what's that called it's a very popular term with certain people I have no idea you're Does it start like with a say, w? appropriation say, there you go cultural <laughs> appropriation <laughs> that's, that's 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 the word I'm looking for thank you Stephen uh, so they are culturally appropriating uh, is karate Taiwan what is that. What Chinese? Oh, Chinese. Okay, I believe. Or is that? Oh wait, is it kung fu or karate? It's kung fu. Kung fu. I think they're both Chinese. Oh, okay. Or Japanese. So white know. guys. Are, there's no Asians in that movie. Uh, well, I only saw the first ten minutes, so <laughs> not within okay. those ten minutes. This, this is now called. This segment is now called Juan's ten minute movie review. <laughs> so, <laughs> That's better. Yeah. Watches ten minutes a movie uh, of a movie <laughs> and reviews it. What do you do? You have a number system or a star system? What do you got going on for this review oh, system? Oh, star! Yeah, I got a star system. Um, okay. I'll give it a one and a half star. Out out of what? Out of two. Out of two. <laughs> ten. Out of ten. Ten? Yeah. That's a terribly low score. But then again, you only watch ten minutes. What yeah, movie for yeah. you is 
a 10 like Sharknado or something or what? <laughs> well, when it comes to those kind of movies? Uh, movies in general. Hurricane. Oh, shoot. I don't know. There's so many good ones. What's a 10? Like your favorite movie of all time. First one that comes to your head. Bam. Um, Debbie Does Dallas. <laughs> yeah, that one. I was kidding. Uh, no, there's, uh, there's. It's so hard to pick a number. Oh, you didn't say one. You said 10. <laughs> yeah, 10. A t- oh, wait. A 10 Spun- star. Yeah, 10 star I mean, review. Is it number or star rating? 10, 10 star. 10 star. What's the 10, 10 star, star movie to you, Juan? Yeah. Um, <laughs> Thank you, Steve. The first Avatar was, was really good. Well, do you really think good. the first Avatar was that good? Yeah. I remember watching it. I didn't think anything totally negative. Is there a second one? There's going to be like it's fucking gonna 10 be. coming out. Oh, okay. Yeah. But recently, especially, I hear a lot of people like, oh, it's, it might rival Avatar. I'm like, I don't remember Avatar being that good. I mean, people were losing their shit over the special effects and the CGI back then. But other than that, the story was like, maybe it wasn't bad. Maybe because I, I liked went, it when I saw it in theaters, it was 3D and I am not a fan of watching 3D I'm not movies. A, a yeah, fan of 3D either. either. So the whole time I'm just like, uh, unless I'll, there's a giant, I paid for it. So face. I think that was a great movie. I don't know. Uh, 10 stars. That means perfect, right? Is there such yeah. thing as a perfect movie? I don't know. Yeah. 10 star I think would be go ahead, I, I would give it like a 9.8 though a solid yeah it could have had to do with uh, the CGI because at that time that was like next level you know CGI graphics yeah, that, that might have mm, like was bumped mind- it up to that extra 10 but I liked it it was good it what was mind blowing good movie what year was this 2008, 9, 10, something. I don't oh, know. okay, okay. I, yeah, I, just, old. I judge it by this, the the kind of CGI we had in video games. And I think in 2008, it wasn't that great. 2009, December 18, 20, 2009. So, so 10 I, years ago. <clears throat> I think a 10-star yep. rating a ten star rating movie would probably be like maybe something. The Book of Eli? No, some, no. So something like a movie you watched and you really couldn't think of anything bad with it. Yeah, like a perfect movie. Yeah. No, but not just almost perfect. Not perfect. Grandma's boy. That was. A <laughs> I mean, if you get ten that stars, that was a great I movie. would say that's perfect. No, no, but but to your point, is there any uh, really any perfect movie? I don't think so. Which is why ten stars. So give it a nine point seven. Ten stars would mean just a movie that you couldn't really complain about anything, or that you've seen more than like three times. I don't think I've ever seen a movie more than three times. I would give Lord of the Rings. That's why I'd be a ten. There Lord of the Rings, I would give ten stars. I the trilogy. Yeah, that you haven't good. seen, right? I give it a nine. Yeah, that shit was but fucking. Legendary. I'm not giving any movie a ten though. Really? Well, I mean, movies like that, I don't have a problem giving a ten because a lot, I know a lot of fans will criticize the critics, like, oh, they give every movie ten stars, or <clears throat> not critics necessarily, but just people in general when they say, oh, that movie is perfect, five out of five, ten out of ten. You say that about every movie. I think that's rare, though. I, don't, I never see that. What's, I what's a 10-star movie from you, Andrew? Ooh, 10-star movie. Tyler, you had, you had mentioned Book of Eli. Why would you think that I think that movie is a 10-star Because both movie? of us really like that movie. I like it, that movie it as is, well. It yeah. is, that's a great movie. It's a, it's a great really movie. good movie. The Matrix? The Matrix, hell yeah. Is it a 10 I give. I would... Put the Matrix above Lord of the Rings for me. Just I love I love the Lord yeah. of the Rings, but L- yeah. the Lord of the Rings is a little slow at times. Yeah. Slow, long, still a great <laughs> epic uh, series or yeah. whatever you call it, trilogy. But the Matrix is more action packed. So yeah, yeah, definitely. I, don't, I would give the Matrix and the Lord of the Rings both fucking ten. What about Toy Story Four? Never saw it. <laughs> I don't <laughs> Never know. Seen it. I don't know if a ten star m- movie does it exist. I don't know, for me, coming from me, I don't think a 10-star movie would mean much coming from me because, I mean, I'm easily entertained when it comes to movies. Like, if it's either it's either good or bad, to me, yeah, that's it. Yeah. Okay, so give us some examples. Uh, uh, um, okay. Off the top of your head, 10 Off stars. Head, uh, What's Eating Gilbert Grape? Beautiful movie. That was a great movie. That was a good Beautiful movie. Beautiful movie. It touched my heart. Uh, what else? Off the top of my head, Spider-Man, the original trilogy. With um, Toby Maguire, yes, that is <laughs> the best. That. that is the best. <laughs> oh no, these aren't ten star ratings. I'm just saying these are good movies. Good movies. To you, it's a ten star though. No, to me, it's a good movie. Okay, so what's well, a ten star I, to you? I can't. Like I said, it's either a good or a bad movie to me. There's not okay. like this is. So a, you're, I'll you're, give it a you don't have a star point. rating. You just have good or bad. Yeah, right. this, is, this is a four point five because the, like the subtle nuances of the uh, <laughs> agenda here. No, I don't. You ain't a critic, pretty <laughs> much. Speaking of Spider Man. <laughs> How many times has it been rebooted at this point? Because MCU just lost Spider-Man, right? Uh, yeah. So 
to my knowledge, the original trilogy with Tobey Maguire was the first yeah. movie adaptation, right? Am I wrong? Yeah, it was. So. Um, and then, uh, was it Andrew Garfield's the next one? Yeah. But then, I understand why they recast him because, and I don't really, I'm not really a big fan of the new Spider-Man either. What's his name? Uh, shit, I forgot guy. his name. The little fellow? Tom Holland. Tom there Holland, you there you go, yeah. I mean, I have nothing against him. It's just, <sighs> no one can beat my Toby. Toby Maguire is probably the best one because he wasn't. So Andrew Garfield's problem was he was just too cool. Peter Parker is not a cool guy. If you look yeah. at Andrew Garfield, he's a beautiful man. He's too <laughs> cool. Like, yeah, you see him all smooth in the movies. Like, no, it's not Peter Parker. Peter Parker is some dorky high school dude, which Toby Maguire uh, portrayed that very good. I enjoyed uh, those movies too, but I think Tom Holland uh, portrays portray, portrays that well. <laughs> portray, better <laughs> 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 Um, from my knowledge, I've only watched the first one, and I don't remember. I don't remember uh, his performance, well, which means Avengers. which means it was unforgettable. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So so the Avengers he was in that's the more recent movie I've seen, mm-hmm. so I remember it. It was more like a nervous kind of Peter Parker, which. I've never read the comics, so maybe he was a nervous, kind of like a, hey, uh, sarcastic kind of guy, which I know he's sarcastic, but Tom Holland seemed in that Avengers movie was like, just, you know what I mean? Like a little kid, like a nervous little kid that says quirky things. Yeah. He kind of, he did play like that kind of role more than Andrew Garfield. That's for sure. Whereas Tobey Maguire is more like, hey, I'm Peter Parker and I'm a (laughs) door. That's how he was. Uh, what's going to happen to the Spider-Man uh, property now? Like that whole IP, like is it? It's going to go to Sony, and it's going to be a totally new reboot with a new actor and everything. Uh, is that what's going on with it? I because don't, honestly, I don't, I'm definitely no. not fucking interested in seeing another fucking Spider-Man reboot. <laughs> I don't know if anyone else is either, but Jesus yeah, Christ, no, I'm so fucking one. burnt out on Spider-Man reboots. Mm. Have you seen them all? I saw all of the Tobey Maguire ones. I saw one of the Andrew Garfield ones, and I've seen both Tom Holland ones and the Avengers. All I'm completely caught up on the MCU. So yeah, you've watched every single Spider movie except for one. Except for one, yeah. And like like you said, I wasn't into the Andrew Garfield ones, which is why I only saw the first one. I think there was two. Yeah, Andrew Garfield. There's two. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. If you really think about it, um, if I can get a consensus here between you guys, Tobey Maguire. Andrew Garfield or Tom Holland? I'm biased because the Tom Holland ones Toby, were part okay. of the MCU, like with Iron Man and Robert Downey Jr. and shit, and those were legendary. They were very well done films. Whereas the Tobey Maguire Spider Man movies were just their own thing, which was cool. I liked them. I enjoyed them a lot. The original, but classic. The Tom Holland ones were really good too. So that's a hard, that's a tough call. Choose one. If you could choose one. One. Um, if I had take I off the nostalgia, yeah, I would too. If I take off the nostalgia goggles, the Tom Holland ones were probably better. How about you, Steven? Tom Holland. Really? I've never seen an, uh, a single Spider-Man movie with them though. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. Wow. You saw both of them? Yeah. Oh shit. Nice. Oh, I haven't seen the second one. I don't think. I saw the second one. It was good. It had a uh, what's his name? Shit, a famous actor in there who played. The villain. Spoiler alert. Fuck, I can't remember his name, but Jake famous Gyllenhaal. Actor. There you go. So what? What happened with the MCU and Sony or uh, Disney and Sony deal? Was it because Disney? Uh, it's something about money. Like Disney didn't want to pay or something. Does anyone know about that? I don't know. Look that shit up. Okay, let me. <laughs> 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 I read about it, but I completely forgot what happened. Uh, Steven, could I get Jeopardy music, please? I think Sony wanted, or Disney wanted some of the cut that Sony oh, was getting all oh, of it. Oh, oh, that's what I read. That's what I read. So I think the original <laughs> deal was all Sony got was like a cut of the the um, ticket sales, like the first week t- ticket sales. Oh, yeah. And then Disney got all the merch and all that stuff. But then um, Sony, hold on, let me look. <laughs> no one's pulled it up yet? God damn it. I'm not, I'm looking at this what are you, newer news in it. I guess they're making a new deal. Yeah, that's what I'm looking at. The new deal. Sony's Green. offered Disney new deal for 30% of Spider-Man and Venom in MCU. 
in the MCU. Is it a Green New Deal? Hold on. 30% of... So Sony's willing to sell to Disney 30% of the characters? Or they can use the characters and they and they rake in 30% of any revenue made up based off those characters. Disney yeah. can use it in the MCU, but Sony gets 30%. Oh, yeah. I see. Oh, that's not bad. Which is, I, mean, I think, a, a pretty good deal. It's a shit it makes load, the fans but... happier because then it's still in the MCU. Yeah, yeah they and... have to make a deal because I think it would be crazy outrage if they took it away. If they make another, like I said, if they make another Spider-Man reboot, I don't think anyone's going to give two fucks about that because I definitely wouldn't. He's bro, I already know. You're going to go watch it. Another reboot? I would not watch You watched that. all the Spider-Mans except for one, Andrew Garfield. I yeah, doubt you're going to skip tor- the new one. Yeah, I fucking pirated the Andrew Garfield one, though. I didn't pay for that bullshit. <laughs> I was like, I was all... I remember hearing about Spider-Man 4. I was living in Sierra Madre at the time. I remember hearing that the church my parents were going to in Monrovia, which was just a couple of towns away. Uh-huh. I remember hearing that they were they wanted to rent one of the buildings to film Spider-Man 4. I was like, oh, fuck it. It was one with Tobey Maguire. <laughs> I was all hyped for that shit, and then they rebooted it, and I was pissed. So uh, I waited for that shit to enter its way into the Pirate Bay before I watched it. You you wanted your chance. You lost your one last chance or one and only chance to see Toby McGuire. Toby McGuire. I wonder what he's up to now. Did it, wasn't he in that um, break, break back, broke back Mountain movie or was it Jake Gyllenhaal? That was a long, that was a long fucking them, time right? ago, dude. Was it Toby or Jake Gyllenhaal? Oh, I know Gyllenhaal. you probably were just jerking off to it last week, but that doesn't come <laughs> I in. Mean, for the rest of us, it's been a while. Oh, I never Jake, saw it. I'm not gay. Jake Gyllenhaal and Tobey Maguire are like similar people to me. They look the yeah, same. they kind of fill in that same um, role. Okay, so s- censorship and uh, deplatforming. So this came up recently, and I had questions. I had questions. You know, here at Bro Duder, uh, at least amongst you and I, Tyler, it, it, we pretty much have the same view on 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 censorship. Mm-hmm. Uh, any art I don't think any art should be censored or deplatformed. If someone doesn't like a game, then don't buy it. If someone doesn't like a movie, then don't watch it. Uh, stuff like that. Yeah. Um, I just I just don't believe in that kind of censorship. Well, recently something landed in my lap the other day. <laughs> and honestly, it's a game that's completely irrelevant. Uh, I swear I've never seen this, I've never played it. Uh, but I might look into it a little bit more. <laughs> it's a it's a some Asian game called Taimanin Asagi, banned from Steam for young looking characters. Now Steam is usually pretty lax. They have some questionable content. They have on some there. pretty risque looking games on there. They have some questionable content. I on saw there. you playing some of them on my friends list the other day. <laughs> So, Sasayama Itusai, a planner, director, and story writer at Lilith, has divulged that Tayamanina Sagi was rejected from Steam for possessing characters that look underage, a common occurrence on the thought policing platform, even for some games that had legal characters. Okay, so that article right there, that, that, that description right there, I can already tell this Sankaku Complex, this publication, is a little biased. Mm hmm. They just they just called Steam a thought policing platform, which I never thought they had a problem. No, with, with. they've let some fucking they. If anything, I wish they would <clears throat> tighten their grip on the games that they let in. Man, I've seen I watched videos of these YouTubers who buy these games that <laughs> Steam lets on their platform, and they're fucking terrible, like really bad games. Like they should have never entered their way into Steam. Yeah, be, they, imagine if like HBO just let anyone fucking put a YouTube video on their platform. That's bro, kind of the, the, the same thing. No, think, well, think HBO about it. It's, premium, it's getting so. that way. It, okay, H, I wouldn't expect that on HBO, but Netflix and Hulu are like that. Netflix yeah. has some garbo. <laughs> they do have some shit. They on have there. some uh, Hulu too. Yeah, but uh, those are premium services. Like, uh, granted, okay, you got to expect if you're looking for a good horror movie, most of them. If you're most just looking on shit. on just by random and not by recommendation or anything, they're going to be garbo. Mm-hmm. Good horror movies exist. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I saw it too this last weekend. It was fucking great. Oh, you did? Don't oh, don't spoil was, anything. I won't. Don't it was, spo- I won't spoil was anything. Was it scarier than the first? It was not scarier than the first because the first one kind of tri- pre- pre- like preps you for uh, the second one. It's the same thing, you know, jump scare kind of shit. How many stars do you give it? I would give that out of <laughs> 10, I would give it a good oh. eight point three oh that's yeah. pretty good yeah it was fucking great it wait was a really minute good. wait a minute i wasn't listening to you when he did you answer that question was it scarier than the first 
It was not scarier than the first oh. one. It was funnier than the why, first one by far. Why did I get... Oh, people are just so disturbed by the second. It, I would say it's on par there's a, with the first one. There's a actually. scene where there's just so much blood and people couldn't take it. That's what I was There reading. was a scene that was pretty fucking brutal. But oh. it wasn't like It wasn't scary. scary. It was, it was brutal. Like, oh. brutal. Yeah, it was more brutal than the first one. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, there's some scenes where you're like, Oh, that's not going to happen. You know, like they're not going to let that happen. And then they, they let <laughs> no, it happen. Uh, no. It's like watching Game turn of Turn it Thrones. off. <laughs> Projection is turn it off. It was great. You know, I'm not a horror film fan either. And I am. It one and it two were fucking great. I am. Uh, uh, me, my wife, my kids are all horror fans. Uh, my wife more so. She likes the Scream series. But um, we watched it this past weekend. But. And I put on, speaking of Hulu, because I was, I was looking on Hulu for just a horror movie because my kids want, wanted to watch a horror movie. I'm like, all right, that sounds good. So I'm looking for a horror movie, and um, <laughs> there was one called The Hug. And <laughs> <laughs> I'm shaking already. <laughs> <laughs> and it looked interesting because, you know, the five, does anyone know what Five Nights at Freddy's is? It's yeah. a video game where you play as one of them plays as a monster, and the other five guys fucking have to run around. And Released shit, in right? 2008, published by. <laughs> Uh, yes, thank you, video game historian. Uh, yeah, it started as a game. But anyways, the the whole basis on it is it's animatronics. It's like haunted animatronics, I guess. They come to life and they kill people in in like a in like a, 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 a restaurant cult like Chuck E. Cheese. Yeah. Well, wh- when I went to the hug, it looked like oh, the description was looked just like Five Nights for Set Freddy's. It showed an animatronics creepy looking little guy. Mm-hmm. And uh, I was like, oh, this this movie looks interesting. Maybe my kids will enjoy it. So we start watching it. And three minutes goes by and the movie is finished. What the fuck? <laughs> it was. I didn't even, I didn't pay attention to it. It was literally, literally like six minutes long. What the I, fuck? It, was, it was like a little short uh, Halloween movie, I guess. A little it's like Halloween, short film. Halloween short. But it was it was interesting. On the list, and my kids still loved it. And they watched it like five times. <laughs> <laughs> but... um. How did I get on? Uh, we were talking I, about horror movies. And oh shit. yeah, yeah. So, so that prompted Janice and I to to that night when the kids went to sleep to put Ooh, on. What did you guys <laughs> do? Huh? They got nice and steamy. <laughs> Details, please. We're talking about horror films, not adult films here. The The Exorcist. Now, if anyone ever remembers watching The Exorcist when they're did, did any of you guys watch The Exorcist when you were like children? I was probably like. 10 I don't maybe think so. have you ever seen it one i don't think so oh my i think i've liked yeah. horror movies since i was little it's the granddaddy of yeah. all horror films my dad put every horror movie possible <laughs> in front of me when i was before i can even remember watch it now <laughs> that's why i'm so fucked up no daddy no did, but did you watch the exorcist yeah how old pretty young oh pretty young okay like S- child child oh really young fuck because Okay, I'm watching that today. I've already seen it when I was uh, when I was like in high school, middle school. I was still like f- super creeped out about from that movie. I was just like, oh, and uh, like you know the kind of movie you watch, and then after you turn it off, it's like, fuck, what's what was that noise over there? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then you're all paranoid. Um, watching it recently, it's still creepy, um, but I appreciate it a little bit more for different different uh things rather than just as you know how scary is it like um camera angles and all that stuff mm-hmm. i just noticed it was oh that looks cool uh just the way the way how like i don't know who directed it but he would the way they would do it it was they would zoom in on certain things it wasn't even scary it was just zooming in and with a certain song in the background just made it sound look creepy and like oh my god what the hell but you gave it give you that vibe of creepiness and and Horror movie. Whereas nowadays, those dolly pulls. <laughs> or, <laughs> really? Nowadays, it's like, you know, you're lucky. You're lucky to get kind of scared by a horror movie. Uh, nowadays. Yeah. But it too, I got scared. There's but, a scene in there. Oh, really? It was part of the trailer with the old lady. You didn't see anything from that. You didn't oh see that yeah, thing? that was creepy. Is that fuck. scene? That scene fucking scared the shit out of me i was like holy Wait, is shit. there more to it than just yeah the there's way more to it than just the trailer Ooh. way fucking more Ooh. i gotta like, check that out but they don't really show you everything in the trailer like the main but part of it movies like that just don't get me i got really? you like scared. horror i like horror but not like supernatural stuff i'm like it's not really scary to me because yeah. it's the 
doesn't exist. It's not Suspension real. Suspension you know? of disbelief, Stephen. I mean, the exorcist, some could argue that that stuff's real, you know, mm. but I don't believe in it personally, so it's not that scary. Like, Scream, I like Scream. It's a murder. People, yeah. you know, people could be murderers. Like, it's, I wouldn't say yeah. it's scary, but it's more realistic. So I'm like, okay, yeah, that could definitely happen, you know? Yeah. You'd but, have uh, some serial killers running around your city. Yeah, but, but Exorcist is like a creepy, like, oh my God. That's well, it creepy. is. Where it is, is creepy. I'll give you that. Like, the, the way it's shot and everything, like you're saying, it kind of makes you uncomfortable and stuff. The angles and the zooms and yeah. stuff. And the, Dude, there's the, old, the music they used the sounds, in, yeah. Yeah, the, the, in horror oh, movies yeah. back in the day what? were way more creepy. Yeah, why don't they do that like, nowadays? The Conjuring uh, kind of uh, brought it back a little bit. The Conjuring and what else? Uh, Inception kind good. of kind of used Inception. sounds like that. The, or not. the sounds in uh, what's the movie with Jack Nicholson? Shining. The Shining. The sounds in that are fucking awesome. Yeah, that that's another movie. one. That's, that's, like, that's like, like those that's screeches like, and stuff that they just come out of nowhere. Those are the sound. That's another one. That that's movie. why it's so classic because it's like they use sound design so beautifully. That's it's another like, one oh I like God. a lot because again, it's like. A psycho guy, you know, that's it's kind of realistic. That could really yeah, happen. He's just like insane. Oh, so yeah. so blood pouring through a hallway can really happen, Stephen. <laughs> well, I think that's hallucination, right? Because you have cabin fever. So yeah, good. What what gets me out of uh, horror movies is when you see like some kid peek a door and then he <laughs> hides back in and then just starts booking it on like all fours, upside down, backwards. Yeah, and he's just like running. The super supernatural outlandish yeah, like that, stuff. You're like, okay, that's, that looks funny to me. Wait a minute, the spider walk never creeped you out in The Exorcist. Oh, you never, yeah. see, you didn't see The Exorcist. Well, there's movies where people walk, you know, upside down and shit, or backwards, and they're like sprinting. Oh, yeah. That being said, there's there, there's like flexible people who could do that. Yeah, they had a contortionist like, do that, like that scene. That. No, but the, I that's that was probably the number one scene I got fucking freaked out at when I was a kid watching The Exorcist. That was on stairs too, that, wasn't it? Yes, that, that little spider walk, insane. and it's like. Ah, I'm like, oh my fuck, this movie <laughs> turned it off. What about The Grudge? Did you guys ever see that? I heard that was scary. I never the, saw the that. The Grudge, I, I like the Grudge. The Grudge, the grudge is good. It was, a, it was pretty good. I like The Grudge. I remember no, people but, lost their shit when that came out. That's but again, it's like coming out of TVs and shit. Yeah. No, that's The Ring, you done. Oh, the the ring. Ring. That's right. That's <laughs> that right. movie okay, scared I me. I, I did get scared by The Ring. That's The Seven Days, girl. Yeah. That one was kind of. But so Scream, yeah, it's realistic. I wouldn't say it's scary because I did watch that this weekend. And it's more funny. I laughed a lot more than I. Than That's I why like, I like oh it God. though, because it's that kind of funny, more and, funny, more relaxed. But also, it could happen. And watching at the end, the, the you know when you end, you, know, you find out there's two killers. One's the boyfriend. One's the boyfriend's friend. Spoiler they've been, alert! They've been friends. <laughs> Spoiler on a 20 year old movie. <laughs> um, yeah. Why are you giving spoilers on The Exorcist? Dude, it came out in the <laughs> 70s. Really? Too soon. The, the guy <laughs> at the towards the end of the movie, the guy gets a little too overzealous with his character. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, leave it now. I'm like, oh, shut <laughs> the fuck up. like, okay, you're trying to oversell this, like, psycho guy. But the, the yeah, the Exorcist. I'm watching. You know how she slowly transforms into like that, that uh, demon possessed, dem- the demonic little girl. Man, she said, I've, I've always watched it on TV, so they would blur some shit out. Oh, yeah. But I watched the uncut Pretty and uncensored. Graphic. I was like, what the hell? The shit that she would say? But, like, this, the, the, the shit she was saying was like, you know, okay, it's a demonic possession, so she's saying some blasphemous, blasphemous shit. But just imagine in that time setting, 1979, and then you're watching that movie. Is that when it came that's, out? Yeah, that's even less common. Like, what the fuck is, is this girl saying? Yeah. What the hell? Uh, but but really, what what impressed me the most was the the uh, the makeup that that she went through to look like that possessed girl. The makeup just looks so good, and I'm comparing it to you know since 1979, you would figure technology would advance, which it has. But I'm looking at different horror characters and movies that had prosthetics and makeup. They look scary, but nothing looked creepy like Reagan and The Exorcist. Yeah, the makeup is pretty, pretty legendary on that. It was pretty scary. I it, agree with that. Yeah, it's it's crazy. I can't really think of anything modern day that stands out like that does. People were fucking losing their shit when that came out in the seventy nine. You said mm-hmm, right, mm-hmm. seventy three. Yeah, people actually. lost. Oh, was it 73? 73, yeah. Holy shit. Why did Even I older. Fuck. People were like fainting in the theater and shit, right? Like, <laughs> I was yeah, serious. Like, uh, people were losing their shit. Yeah, they were. I want, I want a movie to come out nowadays that does that. That'll never happen again. People, first of all, people's too yeah. 
desensitized yeah. with the internet it's true, and it's people true. aren't like they were back also then. Also, you're crazy ass watching horror movies when you're two. <laughs> the, <laughs> yeah. the, all, the equivalent Those are that. good days. I love those. Like yeah. Fucking popcorn and dad watching some scary ass movie. The, you, the equivalent of people passing out from uh, a media, some sort of entertainment media experience nowadays would be some sort of insane like fucking, you know those VR treadmills that you can walk on with the headset and everything? Mm. Like you feel like you're completely immersed. That's the only way I think people nowadays could pass out from something scary like that, you know? Nah, I don't think so. Because then you'd still know. I, it'll, yeah. it'll be extra creepy because it's like, oh my God. When VR You're... and AR gets to the point where it's fucking, it looks real, you can't tell what's real and what's not, people will, will fucking lose their shit. Like oh, that. I think I think that'll happen if it gets to a point where like they're freaking out and they can't get out. Yeah, well, with they alternate can't, reality? Because with VR, you can just pop them off. All right. Yeah, but with uh, AR, alternate, like it changes what you see in augmented. your current room augment there you go not alternate uh <laughs> augmented reality if you're in like your own home and it gets to the point where you can't tell what's real or not i think people will lose their shit if you see some shit coming mm. out of your own room you know it's not like you're watching a movie you're seeing your own room you're seeing your own fucking bathroom your own yard everything i think people will start losing their shit from that well people lose their shit from streaming horror games on like twitch yeah, but that's reactionary shit. Oh my god, yeah. I'm so fucking scared. I'm just doing this so I can get yeah. fucking tips and shit. You know, <laughs> tips, tips, tips yeah. and bits. Yeah, that stuff. Um, that stuff is obviously fake as fuck. Especially the girls that do it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Let me make sure I bounce my tips. <laughs> Are you some kind of sexist? Oh please, like those <laughs> Twitch. <Yeah. girls>. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> those I heard about enough of we, this we've bullshit. talked about them before the titty streamers you know they're just on twitch they're trying to chick trying to get tit. a dollar come on yeah, bro I'm watching Good a few right now I'm go, just jealous that I can't think do I it I have three screens here for <laughs> go, go donate to them alright get a support I'm just jealous show your support get that top to your patreon level <laughs> um, real quick I'm gonna go back to the cause we got off way off track of the, my censorship yeah I was gonna say this is uh, all about movies <laughs> My uh Diamond and Nasagi. Okay, it was banned for for young looking characters. Now, my first reaction was good, fucking good. Fuck this pedophile bullshit. But then, I really had to question my own convictions. Labor carrying. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't really understand. It's banned for young looking characters. Are they doing questionable things? What's yes, going on? yes. Okay. I'm pretty sure it's a hentai hentai game. Hentai is like anime. Okay, anime is Japanese cartoon. Hentai is anime porn. My, I, that's what I have on my second screen. <laughs> <laughs> and judging from the picture, it's a very bosomous lady. Compared uh, to the other hentai that I watched. In a sexually suggestive position. So I'm willing to bang. This is like a sexually suggestive hentai video game. I don't know if it's like full fling nude, nudity. But uh, Steam basically banned it because it has young looking characters, which I agree. Uh, or which I, I can see. I can, I can see why they would ban like, okay, young looking characters. Uh, that could be like grooming people to normalize pedophilia. Uh, that was my first instinct. All right, yeah, fuck that. I don't want that shit on Steam. But then it prompted me to question my own <laughs> convictions, my own beliefs that nothing should be censored uh, because it's too sensitive. Uh, otherwise, I mean, of course, unless it's illegal. But I know I haven't really, there's really no details other than it has young king characters and it's a sexually suggestive game. But my question is, where do I or where do we draw the line when it comes to censorship? Uh, is it when, when it becomes illegal, like just straight up pedophilia, or when it's like this, young looking characters? Because I can easily be like, yeah, fuck those young looking characters, but I would be doing the same thing that these other people on the internet do when they see something they don't like and we're, we're like, what the fuck? What's the big deal? We don't be so sensitive. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Does any, anyone draw the line there or? I'd have to look at the characters and see how young they look. <laughs> You'd have to actually see an example. Can I get an HD res? High res. Make a call. But when you, when you first brought it up, I kind of wanted to say, yeah, you should censor it. But then the line will keep getting pushed. It's like, what if someone's making a movie and then in there there's, you know, some type of pedophilia scene? Well, that's what the movie might be about. You know, it's that's maybe that's what the movie is. 
Oh. You know, maybe yeah, see, that's like there's see, a rape movie with rape in it. I don't know what there's kind of rape movie. scenes in movies. Like, there's or, or what's a this? lot of movies. Should we not have movies like that? Yeah, no. but we're in a rape culture. It's no big deal. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good point. Well, what's uh, that show on uh, like Thirteen Reasons Why? I think. On oh Netflix? yeah. It's like, well, should they be allowed to do that? Because that's insinuating suicide, right? That's true. Oh, okay. So. Going back to your your point about the uh, uh, the pedophilia scene in a movie, if it's about that, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, for me, obviously, I wouldn't like that a movie like that exists, but I would be like, yeah, I'm not watching that. Well, like I mean, that. like, say it's a movie about somebody mm-hmm. and they were molested as a child, mm-hmm. and they want to put that that scene in there. Should they not be able to? I think they should be able to. Right. That's what I'm saying. So if you're gonna, but, if you're gonna take ban it from games and things like that, that line will keep getting pushed to where he won't be able to do it at all. And they won't wait, be. I'm not saying, you know, that there's a, there's definitely a line somewhere because, like I said, if that if anything should be censored and banned in my mind, it would probably be that's where the line would be. You know, when it comes to pedophilia and stuff, that's in my mind some of the worst things on on planet Earth are yeah. pedophiles, rapists, um, stuff like that. But in art and movies and stuff like that, cinema, there's places for it, it I has, think. It, True. Depending, depending on the context, on the context exactly. Yeah. So so if it's in a movie and someone's trying to tell a story, maybe it's their story, sure, I can see that. Remember context. Now, this is a video game where it's all a I'll it's get, just uh, a big sex fucking thing. And it could be. I don't know. Let me look at more the, information that's about the thing. it. That's the thing. Like Juan said, I'd have to really see an example of the Damn. what's going on in the game. You know? Yeah, I mean... I don't know. In... What I was going to say about it is it seems weird to me that Steam or Gaben came down with a fucking <laughs> ban hammer on this game because you can go on Steam and download mods for other games where characters are full on fucking naked practically, you know? Oh, yeah, but that's a mod, so it doesn't on. count. You know, I mean, Wait I've seen mods for other games that it's just way more blatantly graphic than here's that some, shit. Here's some more context. All I had to do was Google the, the game. Diamanin Asagi. <laughs> And the f- one, two, three, four, first four uh, results. The first one, Diamandine Asagi Battle Arena <laughs> RPG sex game. Second is uh, episode one through four sex scenes on xvideos.com. What's that w- website? Never been Link there. me. Uh, <laughs> and then there's another one called Hentai Haven. Oh my God, I'm being tracked just watching, just searching this shit. <laughs> so there you go. It's a, it's a sex game. So with that context, what, we what can is a still sex game. You literally just you, run around you, fucking uh, in the game. You've never heard of Leisure Suit Larry? Li- Liquid Larry. Oh yeah, Leisure Suit. Liquid. Larry. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Wait a minute. What did you say? I mean, that would fit too, right? Liquid Larry. <laughs> oh, whoa. Leisure Suit Larry. Never heard of those games? No. Oh man, those were back so. in the day. My uncle, one of my uncles, I remember. It just, sounds kind of familiar. It's like you're like. Oh some, wait, I have it right here. <laughs> 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 my game's on pause. <laughs> So you're like this dude, Larry, and like you're the whole point of the game is to score, score with chicks. That's the whole point of the game. It's been around since the '90s, bro. Isn't that called life? <laughs> no, but you can do it in a video game, and you don't have to face the repercussions of actual rejection. You understand? Well, you don't have to leave your house. So basically, that's what this game is. But hentai looking, like and anime Asian characters looking. Yeah, that sounds pretty questionable to me. But, but, okay, so. So, given that context, we know what it's about, the sex game, young-looking young, young looking characters, do we still see it as an art form? Oh, it's their mm. art. It's the game. Doesn't sound like it. Doesn't, it's, right. It's, it's because because uh, it's a, we're also looking at different uh, different media format. It's a video game. More, It's more likely that young kids will play this shit. Yeah, it's, it's, you're now, interacting. You're, you're making the act yourself. It's like you're basically... Kind of making it's like virtual pedophilia. Yeah, exactly. It's like you're right. making the decision to do that. Right. So, so I mean, us as adults could be like, see what the game is about. Nah, fuck that. Or, uh, uh, but then there could be young kids on Steam, and you know how twelve year old boys are. Uh, they'll see us some sex game on Steam. Oh yeah, I want to. I want to download this game, and then not knowingly, I don't know, be groomed to to learn that pedophilia could be normal i don't know right normalizing it there yeah, you go, yeah normalizing it yeah i think that is a, a danger that's the danger the biggest danger there but but it, do you think that would be the same equivalent to <clears throat> or well is, th- is that where we would draw the line 
for censorship? I'm not really for censoring anything, mm -hmm. like you said, unless it's illegal. But if I was going to put a line, that's where it would be. Hmm. Like I said, I still would need more specific. But then there's 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 different cultures like Japan. I think it was Japan. I heard that. I think you mentioned it was cultural. But like in Japan, I heard like on their news, they show everything, all the gore and shit. Like they oh, don't shit. censor anything, and that's why I'm for that. I mean, it's the news, huh? I'm for that. It's the news. Why should we? Right. Did? Well, I mean, like compared to our news, where they don't, they won't, Washed, they'll censor everything. Watered down. Yeah. yeah. Um, it, it, like okay, like you. Uh, horror movies I mean you're not scared easily because you grew up watching that shit you're not fucked up or like desensitized to it you're desensitized to it but uh, yeah it doesn't sound good saying I'm desensitized to pedophilia <laughs> that doesn't sound good at but all but having it in a game like that would do that right know? right exactly or could do that hmm but it could be argued that putting a, in my example of having it in a movie could people could argue that's normalizing or mm. that could desensitize but, but then there's I different mean, the, the context is different but still if you see it out of context or if a Kid mm. sees it out of context, but it still seems different than an actual it's, game where you're yeah. making decisions and actions. I, I'm fully, I fully support the the making of a movie that would feature like a, a molestation scene or something like that. If it's telling a story, mm -hmm. right? Because it's telling a story. There's context to it. I mean, I'm I'm not for a sex game having, but then again, yeah, like you guys said, I need to look at what the characters look like. It just says from um from what you're saying, it sounds like I would want it censored. Censored, but again, yeah, I'd need a little bit more specifics, more Young context. Looking to characters, see. and and like I said, on Steam has some questionable shit already. They already yeah, really questionable. They shit. already have sex games on there. I mean, I own at least. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> or am I? <laughs> um, I'm pretty. I'm sure they already have sex games on there. Now, for them to ban this particular sex game for young looking characters, then I'm willing to side with Steam and say they probably look pretty fucking young, like little kids. Do they? Yeah, yeah that's a tough one, and uh, I'd like to to know what listeners think. So, you know, what, what do you guys think about that? Like, is it right? Is it not? Should they ban it or should they not? Um, but, you know, in Japanese culture, like animes, ev like in an if you watch most animes, the kids in the show or the main characters, they're like 13. Like they're in high school, mm. but they're young on purpose. Like that's the thing for them, like little fetish that Japanese have. Really? Know? They're also kind of they're sexualized into, into young, young, young people. They also seem kind of sexualized. A lot of anime, yeah. Stuff, oh yeah, how they design the, the characters. Yeah. yeah, that's true. Well, yeah. that, that that could be true. That's, Is, isn't it Japan where the porn's like very censored? Yeah, yeah. Like oh, censor yeah. like the, yeah. the private parts of dicks, vaginas, all yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. But then the news is very uncensored. That's, but but that's then the weird. freakiest shit comes out of yeah. Japan. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> Tentacle porn. And then China is the My complete favorite. opposite. <laughs> China, everything's fucking censored in China. Like PUBG, all these different video games, they have to make separate versions. Like China mm. has their own release dates because they have to make a whole fucking no new version just for China because blood they can't have blood they have to make the blood like green you can't have skulls oh that's right you can't have skulls rainbow six they had that's to do that with communism for you <laughs> <laughs> like oh no yeah n no part of the skeleton so like for example world of warcraft um so they have no doctors no anatomy classes <laughs> <laughs> uh, depicted in video games okay get it right it's very they, specific they send all their student medical students to america <laughs> yeah that's true I, I don't doubt that uh, but in world of warcraft uh, they like the zo or the zombie undead the undead oh, yeah. the undead race like here in America good old the U S of A Preach. we'll put a boot in your ass it's the <laughs> American way <laughs> Preach. Uh, 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 here in the undead they have like pieces of their skin falling off and you can see the skeleton whereas you look at the the Chinese version and the skeleton is just completely covered with skin and it just looks stupid it looks dumb. Yeah. human <laughs> yeah a dirty human with glowing <laughs> eyes um okay so just to wrap it up nicely yes yes folks tell us if you are for or against pedophilia just kidding <laughs> imagine <laughs> i love it <laughs> um but th that is scary there are people out there especially on twitter they'll call them i forgot what they call them yeah people There's are defending pedophiles in this day and age and it's fucking disturbing um, but yeah, I probably draw the line there just because it has, uh, but then it's still, it's not, uh, it's not easy to, to distinguish because you easily say, make the case for, Oh, it's kids. The kid, you don't want kids to access that. Well, 
Okay, okay, little Timmy, don't play that. Go ahead and uh, murder some people in Grand Theft Auto yeah, <laughs> and kill exactly. prostitutes. That's fine. That's okay. I mean, all of but, us did that, and we're fine. You know, I mean, I, I remember playing GTA back in the day, and it was the first one where you can get a prostitute and get her in your car. And the first thing I did, with the, without even being able to know if you could do it, got her in the car and like pulled behind an alley or whatever and the car shakes a yeah. little bit and like your the wallet goes ching and you, your money goes down a little bit the very first fucking thing i did when i got out of that car is i whipped out a baseball bat and i beat her to death wait is it because you knew you could do that no i was just like oh, fuck it let's do this you know i would never ever you are a demented little demon and if you, you think that? that we turned out okay you're more fucked up than any of you us you little semen demon the first thing I did, got my money back. Got another one or did the same thing again? <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, I guess it depends on the person. Depends on the, uh, I don't know, upbringing. Yeah. I don't know. Depends. I would say I've seen a lot of fucked up shit and played a lot of fucked up games. and But I was I was able to, okay, this is a, a form of, of entertainment. Exactly. This is, uh, you got to be able to distinguish the difference between real life yeah, and because, entertainment. Because I can, I can easily blow off someone's head in a video game and... All those guts and gore. I'm like, oh shit, look at that. But I would, if I were to see that in real life, I'd still be like, oh, what yeah, the fuck? I've, I've been yeah. in, like, I was in a Facebook group for uh, the Tasteless Gentleman, which is like, they post offensive memes on Instagram. Not gory memes, offensive memes, because gore gets banned on Instagram and Facebook. But I joined their Facebook group when they had one before it got banned. And they would post, like, all the comments, all the fucking posts were just gore, gore and porn. I'm like, dude, this shit is disgusting. There would be videos of people jumping off fucking skyscrapers and then like from miles away and then they'd go up close oh. and their body was just fucking like, you could not recognize it. There was a video. Why would you even guy, watch all the way to that point? Because once you see <laughs> it, you're it. like fucking uh. hooked. There was a video of guy getting shot in the head point blank with a shotgun, like real videos of this what? shit. It Wait, was someone was shooting up. him? He was like tied up and shit, like squirming around, and they shot his shot him oh in the head, point blank, my shotgun. God. Was this you just see his cartels? Face? I don't know what it was, but it Sounds was a real right. person. And it looked fucking real. I don't know. What? Videos of people blowing their brains out, like suicide videos and shit. What a just, way to end this episode. Yeah, I it was real fucking horrible. Dark. I, can't, I can't watch <laughs> that gory shit. Yeah, I don't know why people like watching that shit. I, I wasn't into it. Like the the group got banned, probably for the better. But uh, yeah, before you I, guys sign it off. <laughs> few things i want to reiterate right, get the hint okay. i want to reiterate juan's point about comment let us know uh where you draw the line with the censorship also aesthetically comment what do you think of the new setup mm. and <laughs> the final thing i want to point out that's a nice mug you've got there andrew what what's wrong with my mug i don't know i like it is that new <laughs> it's a nice quaint town in california <laughs> a. for the audio listeners he's Thanks, got a Jessica. cup his cup is a black mug and it says why is it going to be black? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You tell me you bought it. I didn't. My Who sister. It was a gift. Did. Thank you. <laughs> it says, I heart weed. And then in small letters, it says California on the bottom. I guess oh, weed is shit, a town. Oh, that's edgy, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Learn something new about Andrew every day. Absolutely not. It's very untrue, guys. Please do not believe Steven. Um, this was a, another beautiful, fantastical episode of Bro Duder. Tie bones. I think you guys Sign already it signed off. it off. Perfectly good. Like, Just perfectly say fine. bye, you fuck. How I, many stars would great, you rate this episode? I would rate this episode negative three. Three, three out of ten. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, follow us on all the platforms, you, iTunes, Steven. all that good stuff. Thanks for signing it off, Steven. Now yeah, hit it.